What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you my 2015 NFL Draft Prospect Rankings video. We're taking a look at the wide receiver position. We're going to look at my top 10, some small school prospects, as well as some sleepers that you want to keep an eye on. First, let's take a look at what goes into my prospect rankings. Number one, it's a trait focus base instead of a level of competition base. I don't care where you play, traits translate. Now look at three games, your best game, player's worst game, and also the best matchup and or competition. And finally, these are not indicative of where I believe these players will actually go in April's draft. And this year, we're going to rate the receivers in a different way. We're going to grade the prospects and rank them according to the best position fit at the next level, whether or not they're a split receiver or X, a flanker or a Z slot, which could be either a Y or S, depending if the tight end is on the field. The slot back is what it is called in Canadian football. But we're going to call it the F position, which is your fourth receiver and your utility player, which could be your fifth wide receiver. Darren Waller out of Georgia Tech is my number one rated inside wide receiver for the F position. He has good athleticism. He's coachable. He has good initial quickness off the ball. And he's a solid route runner for a guy his size. Now, he is raw as raw can be as far as the little nuances of the game, but that's something he has to improve on, and I believe that'll come in time. But when you look for a comparison, look for Andre Holmes that plays for the Oakland Raiders. I think this is a prospect that has a lot of upside, especially coming out of that Georgia Tech program. He had a great week of practice down at the East-West Shrine game this this year. Antoine Goodley out of Baylor is a guy that's built more like a running back at 5'10", 210 pounds, so he's stocky built, he's muscular, and he's a guy that can be moved around the formation. I think he can play outside, he can play inside, as well as in a slot. I think he's better suited to play inside the F position, and I think he does a great job in catching the football consistently away from his body. Now, his route running isn't as consistent as you would like, and he struggles with releases versus press coverage. So those are some things he's going to have to work on. And in my opinion, his game and his style, not his talent, reminds me a lot of Randall Cobb and what he did coming out of Kentucky. I'm a big fan of Titus Davis out of Central Michigan. I believe this is a guy that has good all-around skill set, a savvy route runner, and he can function as well inside or out. And he's also giving you value as a return specialist, can return kickoffs and or punts. Now, he can let the ball get into his body at times, which leads to drops. If he gets hit at the same time, he's going to have to be a little bit more consistent in catching the ball away from his body. But I will compare his game to Nate Washington that plays for the Tennessee Titans. I got the chance to see Neil Sterling live first game of the season versus Delaware State, and I came away highly impressed with his skill set. He's a guy at 6'3", 239, that plays his size. He high points the football very well. He can block. He has great body control and very good hands. Now, he lacks the explosiveness and the suddenness you want to see from a guy on the outside, which is why I believe he's better suited to play inside as the F for your offense. And at 239, he may end up as an H-back. I've seen the same type of trajectory for a guy in Boo Williams that played at Arkansas and then later on played for the New Orleans Saints. Started as a wide receiver, moved inside the tight end. I think inside is where Sterling can have a bright future. There's a lot to like about Drew Carswell out of Indiana, PA, a Division II powerhouse. Here's a guy that was a former Pitt Panther, and he plays the inside game very well, the intermediate game very well. He's a huge target that's physical with solid hands. He plays too high at times. He has to be able to play with better pad level, and his routes definitely need polish. He doesn't have the quickness or the explosiveness, but again, as an inside F player, I think he can excel. He can body position versus defensive backs, and he has the toughness that you look for going over the middle of the field. Jordan Taylor had a very productive career for the Rice Owls at 6'5", 212 pounds. He has great concentration in hands, and he knows how to use his frame. He was down at the East-West Shrine game and had a great week of practice. He plays above the rim very well, especially in the red zone. Now, he's not quick or sudden, and he's not much of a rat guy, but if you need possession receiver on the inside, look no further than Jordan Taylor out of Rice. 
Very impressive skill set for Houghton Walker out of Hampton, Sydney. Great size at 6'3", 220 pounds. He tracks the football very well. He understands body positioning and control. He also has good initial burst after the catch to create that subtle separation, and he has very good hands. Now, he does have marginal speed and change of direction skills, and his routes need a little bit of polish. But when you watch him run routes over the middle of the field in between that 10-yard box, he does a great job. He understands zones. I think this is where he'll fit ideally at the next level. And if you want a pro comparison, Look no further than the Raiders' Rod Street. I think he has that type of skill set and would do a great job as a pro. Lamar Durant out of Simon Fraser, a Canadian program that's playing Division II football. He's an early entry in this year's draft class as a junior. He's a fluid athlete for a guy his size at 6'2", 231 pounds. He understands spacing. He stacks the defensive back very well and has very good hands. He's also an excellent route runner for a guy his size. Now, he doesn't have the great speed that you want to see. He has decent speed, and he doesn't play fast. He plays as if he's thinking out there on the football field. So, you know, the adjustment period as he moves up two levels going from Division and two will be evident, but when the light finally comes on for the 6'2", 231 pound junior out of Canada, the sky's the limit. R.J. Harris out of New Hampshire at 6 feet, 200 pounds, is a very good all-around wide receiver. He gets open with his routes. He knows how to use his body to catch the football and is also showing great polish for the position. Now, he has marginal athleticism, and he lacks the initial burst to beat guys consistently at the pro level. But overall, solid skill set. I think he's better suited to play inside where he can have a lot of success as a pro because he does have those sure hands that keep you in the NFL for a very long time. Nigel King out of Kansas, formerly of the University of Maryland at 6'3", 215, is a wide receiver coach's dream. Why? Because he makes every catch away from his body, and it's an all-hands type catch. This is the guy that doesn't allow balls to get to his body. He does a great job in keeping separation between he, the ball, and the defensive back, and he can make those contested catches that coaches want to see those guys of his size make on a consistent basis. Now, he struggles to separate. He doesn't have the big-time speed or the change of direction skills or explosiveness, but as an inside wide receiver, he's probably one of the more dependable guys in this year's draft class. And rounding out my Elite 11 for the F position, I look at Ezel Ruffin out of San Diego State, who had an outstanding week of practice down at the East-West Shrine game. He caught everything all week long. He has superb hands. He's a very physical wide receiver, as evident by his size, 6 feet, 215 pounds. He plays with a mean streak, and he blocks extremely well, which is ideal quintessential traits for an inside wide receiver. Now, he lacks overall burst and explosiveness, and his routes are questionable at best. He needs to clean up that route running ability, and I think he'll do a great job in playing on the inside as a pro. Now, let's recap my 2015 NFL Draft Prospect Rankings video for the inside F receiver position, and these are color-coded by round grade, starting off with the fifth round in Darren Waller, and two through nine are six-round graded prospects. A lot of talent here, a lot of big body guys that can play the physical game on the inside, and we round off the list with Nigel King and Ezel Ruffin. Now stay tuned for my final installment of my prospect rankings video for the receiver position as we take a look at the fifth wide receiver, also known as the U receiver.